In this video, I'll unveil 12 WooCommerce hidden features that you may not yet know about or have missed them altogether. So, if you want to save time and impress your customers, stick around and learn about these nifty WooCommerce secrets. Let's dive in and let's go to the dashboard and let's take a look at the first hidden feature. Go to the products, all products, and you'll see there is a screen options here. If you open it up, you can set up how many products per page you'll see. You can disable columns here. And this feature becomes especially useful in cases when you have installed third-party plugins, for example, brands, or maybe even some SEO plugin. They tend to add all sorts of columns here. And as you see, it's really messy. Also, for example, if you don't use tags, then you can just disable this column here. And this screen option works not only with the products, but also with the orders. So open up orders and you can enable or disable the columns you need. And now let's move to the second feature. It's a bit similar. Go to appearance and menus. And one of the most often asked questions right here is, how can I add categories to the menus? Well, basically the same option. Open up screen options and select product categories. By default, they are deactivated. What else you can do here? Open up link target. And in this case, you can select this open link in a new tab. If this one here is deactivated, then you don't see it here. And one other thing, there is an endpoint here. If you would like to add logout menu, just select it and add it. All your endpoints are here. If you would like to create a menu with endpoints, then you can do it here. Those were the two first hidden features. Now let's move to the third one. And this one is related to the shortcodes. There are a bunch of shortcodes you can use with WooCommerce. Those are the official shortcodes. I'm going to put the link to this page you'll see on the screen right now in the video description. So you can open it up and see what is what. But for example, let's open up this one here. For example, this add to cart, show the price and add to cart button on a single product ID. So I'm going to copy this shortcode. I'm going to add a shortcode block to my page, paste it here. Take a look at the product ID 400, this one here. Replace it, 400, update, view page. And you'll see there is a product price, add to cart. And if I click on it, it's going to be added to the cart. And this way you can add add to cart buttons. But there's more to it, so take a look at this site. There are a bunch of cool shortcodes you can use. Or the tracking form, for example. Bunch of example product scenarios, featured products, best-selling products, and so on. Now let's move to the next one. I'm going to go to the pages, add new, just to demonstrate it. I'm going to give the title WooBlocks. And this time I'm going to talk about WooCommerce blocks that are built in. For some reason, they are down below here, but if you scroll down, you'll see that there are almost 25 WooCommerce blocks. Product search, you can display all products, reviews, customer account, featured category, featured product. For example, open it up, select this product here, or this one, done, it's here. Some customization options, publish, preview, and there you go your featured product with a shop now button. Let's remove it and let's take a closer look at the other ones. Filters, handpick products. That means you can select products you would like to display on the site. For example, those four. You can enable or disable elements, align buttons, order them, replace products, columns. Let's update it and let's preview it. There you go. So take a look at those blocks here. Just scroll down and you'll see what is what. Cart page, checkout page, and mini cart. This one here. For example, open cart in a drawer. Update, preview and tap. This one here. Easy way to add a mini cart to your site. Okay, four done, eight to go. That means let's go back to the products. I'm going to open this one up here golden lamp. And now let's take a look at the catalog visibility, this one here. 
At the moment you'll see that this golden lamp product is displayed in the catalog, but I can make it to work in a way that it is displayed in shop only, in search results only, or it's hidden. So let's set it to hidden, update, let's refresh the page. It's hidden, it doesn't show up here, but if I copy the link, open up the incognito window, then I can access this product. So it's a nice way if you would like to hide products from the catalog, but you would like to send the link for someone to make the purchase. Since we're already talking about the visibility options, let's go to the WooWomers and settings, open up products, inventory, and there is an out of stock visibility. So the next feature is about hiding uh, out of stock items from the catalog. What does it mean? For example, let's open up this golden lamp product once again. Inventory, let's set the status out of stock, update it. Let's refresh the site. You'll see there is a sold out bash here, which means it's out of stock. And if there are a bunch of out of stock products, they may clutter my catalog, especially if I don't know if or when they will be restocked. Therefore, I'm gonna select this one, hide out of stock items from the catalog, save changes, refresh, and it's gone. But once again, if I open up the private view, and use the URL, the product opens, but there is no add to cart button and it displays out of stock here. And this was a hidden feature number seven. Now let's move to the secret feature number eight. And this time I'm gonna open up tax and there is a price display suffix. You open up the tooltip here, it says what it is, but I know a bunch of people who haven't realized what does it mean. I can add something random here. And if I refresh the page, you'll see it's added here. But not only I can add a random text, I can add something meaningful here. For example, price including tax, price excluding tax. So I'm gonna add a price excluding tax shortcode here. I'm gonna save changes, refresh the page, and you'll see that this is a base price and this price is the one that excludes tax. Works also on the single product page. Easy peasy, isn't it? Now let's open up the My Account page and you'll see that it contains a bunch of endpoints. And there is one I don't need and this one is a download over here. Since I don't offer any downloadable products, this one here just clutters my dashboard. So I'm gonna go back to the WooCommerce settings, go to the advanced, scroll down and you'll see all the account endpoints here. Just delete the downloads, save changes, back to the account page, refresh, and you'll see it's gone. This means you can easily remove the endpoints you don't need. And this concludes hidden feature number nine. Now let's go to the checkout page, Select the country, and you'll see I have two shipping methods, local pickup and courier. I'm gonna display this only for specific postal codes or zip codes. In order to do that, I'm gonna go back to the dashboard, open up shipping, open up zone, this one here, and there is a limit to specific zip postcodes option here. Just add your postcodes, one per line, and those are the postcodes that are in a load section. If I use this postcode, then those three will be displayed. If I use any other postcode, then it will be hidden. Let's test it out, save it. Let's refresh it, add a postcode and address, and you'll see that local pickup and courier is visible. But if I add any other postcode, then there is a, there are no shipping options available. And this is a feature that even some professional haven't realized that it's built in in the WooCommerce. A couple of weeks ago, I met a fellow developer and if I told him about this feature, then he was surprised and laughed about that. Even he didn't know it existed. So nifty feature. Now let's take a look at the order space for a second. Probably you know that you can add orders manually, just fill the fields, add products, 
Uh, chipping. Save. Recalculate so that the taxes would be recalculated. Select the payment method if needed. Now create order. And this is all good. But having noticed that there is a customer payment page link over here. What can you do with it? You can copy the link, send it to your customer, and he or she can log in and pay with it. Also, if it's a guest user, then there is no need to log in. They can pay without it. For example, I created a order for the guest user. In a similar way, I'm going to copy the link, go to the site, verify myself, and there you go. Your customer can pay for the order using the payment method you have added. Awesome, isn't it? Next one, since we're already messing with the WooCommerce settings, then go to the advanced features. And if you would like to test some beta features, then this is the way to go. For example, you can test the new product editor, activate it and see what happens. Go to the products, all products, open up this product. And what do you know? The user interface is totally different than it was before. And this is a future of the WooCommerce. Don't use it on your live sites. If you just want to play with it, then this is a way to go. I'm going to go back to the settings, advanced features, and I'm going to disable it. This was a hidden feature number 11, last one. And this is about the filters. Go to the appearance, widgets, open up the sidebar. You would like to display the filters and search for filters block. For example, filter by price. You open it up. You can customize the heading or the filter itself. Next one, once again, filters, filter by attribute. I'm going to filter by color. Here I can select whether I allow selecting multiple options or single options, whether to display it as a list or a drop down. I like the list more. And here you can change the settings a bit more. So, price, attribute, color. Let's add another one. This time it's going to be size. Next one, active filters. And I'm going to display them as chips. I'm going to update. Go to my shop page and you'll see filter by price, filter by attribute. Works like a charm. Active filters are displayed here. I can delete them. So if you're using attributes or a lot of variable products, then maybe it's a surprise for you, but you can create a simple filter with the built-in blocks. And these were the 12 hidden WooCommerce features I wanted to introduce you. Let me know in the comments if there are any other features that are hidden and we should know about. And if you have any questions, and also let me know. Now, before you go, wait. If you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up, this one here. And take a look at this side of the screen. It contains two good videos. I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, take care. Bye.